Hello YouTube, making a video of my set of custom LED taillights I built about seven years ago uh, and I decided I want to put a sequential light kit on it. And this is on my 73 Mach 1 Mustang. And that was, a, was actually a really easy kit to put on. Um, I did have one little issue. I had to play with it a little bit and I'll, I'll explain what that was. Uh, but since I did this uh, LED tail light setup that I did was really easy for me uh, but it might not be so easy uh, depending on what your application is I'll I'll try to explain all that but all right the kit that I picked up uh, was from it's right here let's zoom in on you yeah. and uh, the reason I was saying mine was a little tricky that I had to play with is you know here's the um, little thing little relay box Everything has five wires in it. Um, obviously, you have your hot, your ground, then three other wires on it. Uh, what was a little tricky about it for me was mine didn't have any wiring instructions, so I didn't know what each one of these went to. And since my lights are going uh, from the inside out, I didn't know what was first, second, and third to hook to my lights. But after playing with the first one, I found out mine, this particular one is set up to where the blue is first, then orange, then purple. Now, when I built my LED taillights, I actually put three individual LED little modules in there, you know, put everything in there. So mine is real easy to put in. All you gotta do is just hook each one of these, each one of these LEDs. If you are running a factory uh, light, uh, obviously the middle one is generally a backup light. So you'd only be hooking to the two of them. So you'd be essentially eliminating the orange and just be using these two. Um, but it's, uh, it's as easy as, uh, you know, just hooking all the wires to it. Now, what I did on mine is I didn't want to cut my f factory wiring harness. So I took, a uh, you know, an old light bulb, took all the glass out of it and, uh, soldered the wires to the two leads for obviously the tail light and the brake light side. So, and then obviously in the kit, it does come with butt connectors, but I don't want to use the butt connectors just in case, say these, one of these die and everything, I don't really feel like replacing them. And I take them off, I don't want to have to keep cutting my wires, you know, making them shorter and shorter every time you do it. So I'm just gonna use wire nuts for this. And once I get it all taped up, uh, put some aluminum around it and then get it all tucked back in the car, uh, it'll still look just fine. But I'll show you how easy this goes together. Obviously here's the main positive that comes out of the, the light socket. So I'm just gonna find my first light. Which is this one right here. And the second is the orange. I'm gonna find my second wire, which is this one right here. So I got a zip tie on it, so you know I gotta kind of pull on them a little bit to find the next one. And obviously the purple is gonna be the last one, which is this one right here. And as you see, that's all there was to put this one on. Now, for my application, like I said, since I've modified mine, it was really easy for me to do mine. All I gotta do is just screw this to the chassis, screw the ground wires for each LED module to the chassis, plug this into my wiring harness, and I'm good to go. Uh, the reason, one thing I wanted to talk about with uh, your factory harness is there might be a way that you're not gonna be able to use this particular kit. Now here's the factory wiring harness. Uh, now, of course, now, mine's had a little bit of work done to it, but that was prior to me buying the vehicle. Um, but unfortunately, to use this particular kit, you're gonna you, you're essentially gonna have to cut, you know, your wires in half, you know, for the brake tail light side. Uh, the reason why, is since everything has to go through that little module that I showed you, you can't have power coming from your switch in your center, uh, sorry, your switch in your steering wheel, 
uh, and going through the module and it's just going to turn the lights on. They're not going to go through sequential and it might even cause damage to that box. So if you have a, a factory harness that you don't want to cut, you're not going to use this particular kit. Uh, you would have to check into other kits and stuff like that. Um, and just as a kind of a reference, if you are going to and you have no problem cutting these to figure out which is the right wire to cut, this is your standard uh, light bulb that you're going to find in there. They have these little alignment pins, one there and one there. Now this one's obviously broke out of it, but you'll notice that the pins are two different heights. And I marked the side that is my brake taillight side, which is that you know contact right there. So when this light bulb goes in, which is going to be essentially on the lowest side, the pin that's on the lower side, when they go into the socket, they do a uh, clockwise quarter turn to lock in and then a counterclockwise to pull out. So when you look at your socket, you'll see there's the little channel for that for that pin. You'll notice that this pin is, you know, the, the bulge is closer to the, the front of the, the outside of the socket compared to that one. So when that light bulb goes in and does that quarter turn, that means it, this is going to be my wire that I would have to cut in half. This would be my brake and tail light side. Same with the, you know, the other one. Now, your middle one is obviously a backup light, so you're not going to really be able to use that one in this series. Otherwise, you're going to be lighting up your backup light. And the same thing, you essentially have to completely cut it. So now you really won't have backup lights. So if you did use this, you're only going to be using these two, and you're only going to be lighting up two bulbs. Uh, so... You know, you'll, just when you use the kit, you just won't be using that orange wire. But this is kind of uh, one of those things I kind of want to make sure people know that before you order this particular kit, if you want to do this, you will have to cut this. If you don't want to cut this, do not order this kit. You might want to look into maybe different kits that allow you to create that sequential without having to damage these right here. I don't have it fully completely I still got to wrap the wires and like that but I just wanted to pop it in real fast just so I could finish up the video like I said it's not a hard kit to put in but it's definitely something you want to do a little bit of thinking about as far as if you're going to use a factory harness or if you're going to go with the aftermarket LED you know conversion kit just to see what's best for your application but for my application it was a very easy install and uh, like I said, using the if you use my if you use the particular one I got, you'll be able to use the color code that I told you as far as the blue, orange, purple as your color guide that you can work with. Um, hopefully, all their kits are the same. Uh, if you go with a different kit, you'll just have to play with it, like I did, to find the right sequence. Thanks for watching.